our speaker for tonight is excited to share his wisdom to us. Yes, Brother Aljo. So it is an honor to introduce to you our, our speaker for session one. He is a secondary school teacher, a vlogger, a photographer, game master. Maya, you can facilitate the games. And beyond that, the team leader of SFC, Carmen. So let all us right. all welcome. Oh, welcome to the virtual floor, brother. Brother, Harold. Harold Pedrosa. Pedrosa. Let us give him a virtual. All time. right. Good evening, brothers and sisters. So, morag na siya ko atong introduction of vlogger char. Dili po din tayo wala pa na monetize atong channel. <laughs> Pero basig garahan mo subscribe Harpids lang sa YouTube char na promote ona. But again, thank you so much no sa atong uh, mga guapa o mga as atong guapa o guapo nga MCs. So again, brothers and sisters, um, kumusta na ba mo? Okay na ba tadira sa ato ang kita ba tanan diri ni Agi sa ubosip o naghilanat no? I think most of us. So, uh, for tonight, brothers and sisters, uh, allow me first to introduce myself. So, so introduce naman ko nila gaina, no? Pero, introduce pa na ako ang other fan pa to, na bilin-bilin ginagmay. Uh, so, I am Brother Harold Pedrosa, 26 young, Charles, from SFC Carmen, and uh, yes, I am a teacher by profession, a secondary teacher. So, and also, I've been in the community, in the SFC community, for um, almost five years now. So, mag five years na ko this coming November. So, katunga na ko sa 10 years. Untana, uh, mulapas pa. And then, of course, and also, brothers and sisters, um, uh, in the five years of, as an SFC member, no, mga kaistorya, jud ko nga, ang um, community is na ko gitsagtabang sa ako, uh, uh, especially in my spiritual life. Uh, my personal life, family, and all other aspects sa uh, life, brothers and sisters. So, without this community, siguro, um, kasi tambay ra ko karon, palaboy, or sa baka, dili inani ka, nani ka pretty, atyar, <laughs> suraan, sa tabangan, self-claim. <laughs> okay, na siguro, brothers and sisters, akong life siguro karon is not as good as now. Char, English to ha. So, <laughs> inana siya, brothers and sisters, that is why I am very thankful nga nakasulod ko ani sa community. Uh, makaingon jud ko nga, everything happens for a reason. Kaya before ko, aning sulod ani na community, daghan jud ko, giagian pa, nga nakasulod ko ani nga, um, community. So, so much for that, brothers and sisters, since that is not our main topic for tonight. So, allow me first to present my PowerPoint presentation. All right. So, brothers and sisters, our topic for tonight is all about brotherly love. So, the title is, speaks for itself, brotherly love. But we will discuss that one deeper, brothers and sisters, later. But for now, um, since the teacher man ta, hi ta, so if si teacher na ay classroom rules and regulations, so here also in our virtual, so allow me to name it as my virtual rules and regulations, brothers and sisters. Sorry, atong i-assume atong self nga naata sa classroom. Balik ta pagka estudyante, no? Kay mora gimingaw na ta sa pagiging estudyante. So I have also my rules and regulations, brothers and sisters. So first rule is, of course, I want you to listen attentively to the talk. So meaning, brothers and sisters, dili lang kay i-hear lang ninyo ang talk, kumbaga inyo lang paminaw mo, but listen, inyo gisyang subtone, because this talk, brothers and sisters, daghan yun mong learnings nga ma-acquire ani, and in which you are going to apply it in your households. Diba? The second and the last rule, brothers and sisters, is of course to participate actively. Teacher, oh char, teacher, sa mga pag-participate actively. Nga naman ito sa virtual. Mawa ni siya, brothers and sisters. Later, mag-present ko og mga slides and then mga sentences or verses and then what you're going to do is I will call a brother or a sister nga mo read sa uh, verses or sa sentences para po um, um, kumbaga, 
Kaya na, ang atuang talk is, kuan good siya, interactive. Yes, that's the word. Interactive, brothers and sisters. Kaya basing matingala ko, katunga-tunga sa akong talk, na nga tulog na ang atong mga titos o atong mga titas. Number one, atong mga brothers and sisters said, so, please prepare to unmute yourself and also to turn on your cameras the moment I will call your name. Okay, well, that's up. Murag dili mo okay ba? <laughs> thumbs up sa thumbs up. Gusto ko makakita. Thumbs up. Kung okay ba ang tanan? All right. Since everybody is okay with my virtual rules and regulations, so now let us now start with our main topic. But before we are going to go deeper, allow me first to present my outline of this talk. All right. So, but tabanog to siya, di ba? <laughs> um, brothers and sisters, there are four topics that we are going to tackle this evening. So, the first one is, of course, the introduction of our topic. And the second one is, how do we express brotherly love? And the third topic is, concrete qualities of brotherly love. And the last but not the least is, of course, the conclusion. So these are the four topics that we are going to tackle this evening, brothers and sisters. And again, katawa si Brad Algy Morado kung nalilis ka. Pasensya na because gimingaw lang ko because of the pandemic, wala ko wala ibito face-to-face na discussion. Gimingaw ko ba sa kanang mag-discuss. So inani, pasagdain na lang ko. But as long as at the end of the discussion na amoy malarin sa ako. If you have questions also, so later sa atong end sa discussion. So let's proceed, brothers and sisters. Okay, let's now proceed to our introduction. So may I call on sis, um, sis, in Samandri, sis Jessa. Okay, sis Jessa, can you please read First Peter chapter five, verse two? reading is taken from hello can you hear me yes it's just uh, 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 reading is taken from the first book of Peter, chapter 5, verse 2. Be shepherds of God's flock that is under your care, watching over them. Not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest to get this uh, dishonest gain, but eager to save to serve. Okay, thank you so much, sis, sis, sis Jessa, for that. Okay, so uh, brothers and sisters, here in the first Peter chapter five verse two, we should. Uh, the main phrase or the main phrases that we need to consider, brothers and sisters, is here. Can you please look at the screen? Not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be. So, unsa may pasabot, Anna, brothers and sisters? As household leaders, dili ka ingon nga, serve ka because it is your duty as a household leader. Umbaga na pugusra ka, but because you are willing to serve or you are willing to be the servants sa ato ang mga household members. So inana siya, brothers and sisters, not because you must or it is your duty, but because you are willing to do it. So understandable, brothers and sisters, because always remember that as a household leader, our task is to take care of God's people those entrusted to our household. So our main responsibility is to take care of our household members as a household leader. Okay, let's proceed now to the next slide, brothers and sisters. Okay, so the best example for this is, of course, Jesus. Here in John chapter 10, verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So the good example for that, brothers and sisters, is of course Jesus Himself. And as a member or as a household leader, rather, you are willing to sacrifice your time for your household members, brothers and sisters, especially if they have problems, a family, love life, or any kind of problems, brothers and sisters. As a household leader, you need to give time, uh, you sacrifice your time 
Kaya there are other members that dili siya dili nila kaya mag-share sa ilang problems sa ilang friends, sa ilang family, mga ego pud ko ana no. That is why you as a household leader, it is your responsibility na muhatag og time sa imong household member para ka maminaw sa ilahang problems brothers and sisters. And for that, that is the sign that you are a good shepherd or that you are a good household leader. Okay, let's now proceed to the next slide. Okay, the second one is we can see how important is this service that we do. So always remember, brothers and sisters, that as a household leader, this is not just an assignment. Nga kanamurabrabitog sa classroom nga assignment lang ni or task or group nga task or this is just a function. No, brothers and sisters, because. As a household leader, we need to put love into it. Dapat but nga ni dili ka ikaw household leader lang ka for nothing. But nga po di mo siya og love. Kung baga household leader with love. Or confidently beautiful. Or ginaanan ni Pia, no? So, because love is very essence, brothers and sisters. And as brethren in the Lord, one very important quality of our work is brotherly love. And that is the main thing. Topic. Oh, that is our main topic for tonight, brothers and sisters. So we all know, brothers and sisters, it's a mga tabaludrin no or bisag dilip mo mga English majors that love is a noun. Agree or disagree? Yes, of course. Ako nila answer agree. Love is a noun, but here in SFC, brothers and sisters, na apod tay exemption because here in SFC, love is an action word. Kung baga verb ato. Imuon na to verb ang love, brothers and sisters. Why? Because we need to show it to our household members, and sometimes we need also to do it out of love. So, here in SFC, brothers and sisters, love is not noun because love is a verb. So, sabi ng anila no sa atong primitive madunggan that action speaks louder than words. So, pina ka importante yung nabuhaton jud ni mo ang imong historia dili kay historia lang kada kada ghan. Ang buhat wala. So in anata, brothers and sisters, as a household leader. Okay, let's now proceed to. Wala ko na sa kuha. In anila ng yudako voice. Let's now proceed to the next slide, brothers and sisters. Kasi nabungula na buda ingon lang mo. Okay, how do we express? Ah, how do we express brotherly love, brothers and sisters? So we express brotherly loves, brotherly love in two ways. So first is the attitude of service love. And the second is the attitude of humility. So we will discuss each of these. We will tackle that one deeper. So first, what that we are going to discuss is the attitude of service love. Okay, may I call on Brad Teo? Can you please read Mark chapter ten, verse forty-five? Hello, my name is Satanan. So Mark 10, no, 45, for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and not to give his life as a ransom for many. Yes, thank you so much for that, Brother Teo. So for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So sabotable, brothers and sisters, know that we as a leaders, we are servants. Though... Moingon tanga, yes, boss ko. Ako ang managers sa among office. Ako ang supervisor. Ako ang superintendent and other higher positions. No, ako ang HR o unsa pa dera. But here in our community, brothers and sisters, we are all equal and we are all servants. Dili na magmatter ko unsa position ni mo sa gawas, but in the community, we are all servants and we give ourselves willingly so that those in our care will experience. The life and salvation of Jesus. So, mo na siya, brothers. That is the attitude of service, love, brothers and sisters. And one of the best examples that I can give you, brothers and sisters, titos and titas, about the attitude of service, love, is of course, dili na ako magpalayo, no? Sa ato a isa siya sa mga kung bakit naman may group of friends po sa SFC. So, one of the best example is si Sis Claire Oblimar. So, the newlywed na sila na couple. Pero wala pa sila ng kuan haning padulong sa Couples for Christ. So, isa ka example is si Claire. Nga naman siyang, ako man siyang example sa attitude of service love brothers and sisters. So, sa katong, 
by the way, kami ang first batch sa Carmen. Naanay first batch before, but purag ng tiguang uh, mga 40s naman, 50s. So, kami na ang pinaka on sa baka ng modern na ano, first batch na mi. Umbaga. So, ang sama na hita mo, brothers and sisters, is that sa amo ang during sa, kami man ang first batch, during sa amo ang CLP, so, ang nag serve sa amo is ang Nasipit and the, ang Buena Vista. And then, after sa amo ang kami na mismo ang nag-serve sa Carmen, since kami naman ang first batch, so kami na mismo ang mo-serve. So, I can really see nga, This is clear, did the attitude of the service love. So, in what way, brothers and sisters? So, ma-witness na ko ba nga, di, uh, bisag, dili to enough time nga among pag-ila-ila, no, since newly dedicated pa eh. But, makita na mo nga, since kami, bago pa man, may daghan gamit lang ko lang sa mga, uh, daghan gamit mga kulang ko lang sa mga gamit, brothers and sisters, especially sa project for, sa speaker, and o sa uban butang. So, nakita na ko dito nga, si Sis Claire is willing siya magpahulam sa projector nila, willing siya magpahulam sa ilang car because nami mga brothers and sisters nga ka nang ihatod pa o kahayagan, ihatod pag binapor, nga layo bito siya sa amuang venue. So, makita yun na ko dito nga ka nang na grabe, na um, ka nang inani siya ka, kumbaga inani iyang service sa amua. Imagine na, si Sis Claire is HR, uh, HR na na siya sa ilahang office. Kumbaga na na siya sa pinaka- Dako nga position, but again, as what I have said earlier, that if we are in the community, we are all servants. So, dili mag-matter kung unsa nakadako imuhang position. So, in ato ang yang gibuhat ni Sis Claire Gono, nga uh, nahimo siya as servant. So, iyang car among gigamit, pahatod o pagkuha sa mga gamit, among projector, ilagi gamit para na ay magkuha ng mga ang speaker. So, inana siya, brothers and sisters. And of course, um, sa karun nga panahon, no, additional na nipod siya, kanang sa kasing sister gyapo na attitude of service labo gyapo na wala siya no bisag menu na siya um, na ay mi na asilay kumbaga nami brothers and sisters newly dedicated lang baguhay lang diri sa virtual nga taga simbalan sila duha and then ilang gi-adapt kumbaga sa ilahang uh, bago nga uh, balay nga giabangan sis nagabang pa man sila so ilang gi-adapt because uh, these two brothers these two brothers kailangan pud nila since taga simbalan sila hinay og internet connection So need nila og stable since we all know nga kuana siya kanang online na nga to ang klase. Ni kailangan nila og stable internet connection og dual rapod sa school. So si Sis Claire is uh, willing siya nga uh, papoy on diri ang atong brother, uh, magtabang-tabang lagamay og maghatag-hatag pud siya ginagmay og ganang allowance sa ila. So inana no uh, that is the attitude of service love brothers and sisters that we need in ourselves pud siya nga kanang kumbaga ba kanang bisa kung sa nakataas nga posisyon ang imuhang naabot sa imuhang kinabuhi. But here in the SFC, kung na ay mga brothers nga and sisters nga kailangan sa atong tabang, magpa-servanta sa ilaha. So in ana siya, brothers and sisters. Um, Di ba, um, sarap, uh, sarap, Tagalog. Nindot siya sa feeling, brothers and sisters, nga kanang pag makatabang bitaw ta, lahi bi ang happiness na makuha sa ato, ama, ma-feel na to bitaw. Because that is the attitude of service, la brothers and sisters. mo nang kanang bisag sa gamay nga butang nga makatabang lang ta sa atong brothers and sisters lami na gid kayo sa feeling so that is attitude of service okay let's now proceed to the next one okay we are still in the attitude of service ha so may i call in brother um, Aljon to please read uh, Mark chapter 10 verse 35 to 44 okay <clears throat> Mark chapter 10, verse 35 to 44. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. They replied, let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. Continue. You don't know what you're asking. Jesus said, Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? We can, we can, they answered. Jesus said to them, You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. Please continue, Brad. When the ten 
heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know what those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. Okay, thank you so much, Aljon, for that. Um, here, brothers and sisters, we can see that James and John want to, wanted to sit at the right and the left hand of Jesus in heaven. But uh, that, is, that is why the other disciples, the other 10 disciples, brothers and sisters, is indignant upon hearing those things. Kung baga murag na annoyed sila, murag na suko sila nga nakadungog ato sa kang James o, o kang John. Um, so that should not be the case, brothers and sisters, because uh, this is uh, those seats, sa right or sa left hand, ni Jesus, brothers and sisters, is reserved to those um, to those who is deserving uh, mapunta ato nga position, brothers and sisters. So for so for us as leader, we need really to be humble. Kaya ginatawag nato nga humility, brothers and sisters, no? Kung gusto ta nga makalingkot ta dito sa right o sa left hand sa, at, sa atong ginoo, sa atong next life, so we need to be humble. And always remember, brothers and sisters, that there is a difference between the service in the world and also the service in the kingdom or shall we say the service in the SFC. So now, brothers and sisters, let us differentiate the two. Unsa magikali and sa service in the world and service in the kingdom or in the SFC. So here, brothers and sisters, you can see here two columns. So, so first column na ay servants in the world and also the servants in SFC or in the kingdom. So the first one, rather than lord it over, we serve. So unsa pasabot, ana, brothers and sisters. So as what I have said earlier, even though manager na ka, supervisor, superintendent, HR, o unsa pangap, na nasa ka sa taas, si so five na ka, si so one, but always remember, brothers and sisters, na kung naata sa community sa SFC, we are the servant. You are serving because we are all equal. Dili na siya magmatter kung ikaw pinakataas ako member ako ni mo sa office. Pero na sa SFC sa community equal tawa. Dili tika boss. Dili pogo ni mo alalay because we are brothers and sisters. The next one, rather than glory in our importance. We serve in humility. So here, brothers and sisters, if we are doing something, we should not expect any praise in return. Kung baga, kung nakakay buhaton, dili ka mag-expect na, hala, anong ka, tagaan, siguro ko, anong ko, or any praises, brothers and sisters, no? Kung nakakay buhaton, dili yung dapat ka mag-expect uh, mag or uh, something in return, kung baga, brothers and sisters. Because we do this, uh, we... Because we do this, because we are willing to do it. Dili ka ingon na pugos lang ka, kato ang ingon. Not because you must, but because you are willing to do it. Mao na siya, brothers and sisters. And the last one, rather than be first, we serve ourselves last. So sabotable, brothers and sisters. No, for example, atong ibotang sa scenario that we are in the face-to-face -face ng uh, mga gatherings. No, for example, sa atong Lord's Day. Diba magtapok dira, na ay mga foods, and etc. Mag Lord's Day. So after that, pag tingkaon na nga time, brothers and sisters. So especially if we have the new uh, newly dedicated brothers and sisters, no? So it is better na paunahon na to sila. No? Paunahon na to sila o guha o food. Kulat sa punta. Di man siguro tamahotdan because giblisengan giblising, giblising man na sa ato ang ginoo. So siguro ma, maapod-apod na siya sa tanan. No? So let those um, newly dedicated uh, brothers and sisters, nga sila sa muna o kaon, ayha na nato iserve atong kaugalingon. So that is the difference between uh, serving in the world and also in the SFC brothers and sisters. Nakuha ba? Tulog, uh, mata pa ba ang tanan? I think no, mata pa ang tanan. So mauna siya, brothers and sisters, and now let us continue. Yes. Now, let's now proceed to the concrete qualities of brotherly love. So, 
Brothers and sister, sisters, there are six qualities of brotherly love, but it was divided into two. So the first one is as expressed by Jesus, and the second one is uh, concrete qualities of brotherly love as expressed by the other scripture uh, passages. So uh, we're, at, uh, we're going to discuss now the first one, concrete qualities of brotherly love as expressed by Jesus. So there are three. So first is concern for the practical needs of others. The second is the availability to our people. And the third is the expression of affection. So let us discuss one by one, brothers and sisters. So first is the concern for the practical needs of others. So example of this, brothers, and the best example, the two best example is here. And some of the wedding, the wedding, the wedding at Cana and the feeding of the multitudes. So here in the wedding of Cana, brothers and sisters, um, di ba, um, nga story, nahutdan sila og wine. And so we can really see here, especially here in the picture, in the picture that even Jesus, kabalo siya, uh, nanginahanglan jud ang tao, kaya nahutdan na sila og wine. That is why Jesus performed a miracle. Ang mga jar of wine, mga jars of wine, uh, na puno og balik, brothers and sisters. So, mauna nga miracle ang iyahang uh, gibuat. So, that is the concern for the practical needs of others. Kay kabaluman ang ginoo nga, nanginahanglad yun ang tao, kay kulangan ang wine. The second also example, brothers and sisters, is the feeding of uh, multitude. So, everybody knows about this uh, story naman, no, the multiplication of bread. So, Jesus also knows uh, what what the people needs kabalo sila nga dili enough ang bread ay na pagkaon sa mga tao nga naadira i think if i'm not mistaken 3000 ba to so something inana no daghan kaayo ang pakanon but gamay ra ang basket of bread nga naa sa ilaha that is why again nagperform og miracle si Jesus ihang gi multiply ang bread og naapod-apod sa mga tao og naa pagay sobra brothers and sisters so uh, that is these are the two best examples for the concern of the practical needs, brothers and sisters, of the others. So let us relate that one in our scenario. So as a single for Christ or in our household, no? So the best example, brothers and sisters, is during this pandemic. So we all know that um, there are a lot of people who lost their jobs because of the pandemic, brothers and sisters, no? But in order for them to provide for their family, unsa may ilang gibuhat? So, namaligyan na lang sila og mga buwak, namaligyan na lang sila og mga sinina, nag-online selling, namaligyan na lang sila og mga ginagmay nga foods, mga quick-quick, mga inana, whatsoever, just to provide for their family, brothers and sisters. And also, as an SFC, be, uh, even though we don't have enough money, brothers and sisters, and also, even though, kanang dili bitaw nato sa laki na hanglanon, pero ning palit gihapon ta because of the thought that uh, makatabang ta sa ilaha because of the situation that they are facing right now, brothers and sisters. No, Basta dili na kayo na ito, kinahanglanon ito nga mga butang ning palit gihapon ta para lang makatabang ta sa ilaha because sila nang inahanglan po para i-feed sa ilahang family. So that is the best example ng atong pwede buhaton as a member of this community, brothers and sisters, nga maigo ta diri as a concern for the practical needs of the others. So mauna siya, brothers and sisters. The next one is, of course, uh, okay, can you please read James chapter 2, verse 14 and 17? Um, sis Angie Lungos. Okay, can you please read sis? James chapter 2, verses 14 to 17. What good is it? My brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds, can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Okay, thank you so much, 
Um, sis, di ba, nindot ka ayos siya nga verse, no? Balik ko lang na ako, brothers and sisters, ha? para mukuan kibito sa atong kaunod-unuran. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deed, can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical need, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. So here, brothers and sisters, uh, we cannot just have a spiritual approach to love. Um, I'll always remember, brothers and sisters, that prayer is not enough. We need to do action as uh, stated here sa atong verse no nga, dili lang ingon nga, lakaw did to go in peace, keep warm and well fed, pero wala kay gibuhat physically, wala ni mo sila gitagaag sinina, wala ni mo sila gitagaag bisa ginagmay nga hinabang, bisa lima man lang kakilo nga bugas, duha ka lata nga sardinas, is duha ka noodles, wala gihapon, useless ang imuhang pag-advice-advice sa ilahat because wala ni mo siya gibuhat through action as sa ako laging ibalik-balik gay na action speaks louder than words brothers and sisters always gana nato ibutang sa atong uh, huna-huna no nga dili ra enough nga magampo ra ta sila nga unta na lord si brad si sis nga matagaan na sila si nina makuan sila mapa wala po kay gibuhat dili man ang ginoo mo tagak og pagkaon dira sa gikan sa langit padung sa ilang balay magamit sila og instrument of course brothers and sisters pamaagi sa ato as since members na sa atong community so kita ang gamiton sa ginoo as instrument para mutabang sa ilaha so in ana siya brothers and sisters the concern for the practical needs of others so let's now proceed to the next one okay the second one of course is the availability to our people. Okay, ke, um, sis, wait lang ha. Ay, naguna naman. Wait lang, ibalik sana ako. Okay, sis, isa pa may akong wala tawag. Uh, sis, sis, John, from sector A. So, brother, please read. <laughs> Brad, 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 sorry. <laughs> Brad, John, sorry. Brad, okay, John. Brad. <laughs> So Mark um, chapter 10 verses 13 to 16. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them, and blessed them. Okay, thank you so much, Brad. So here, brothers and sisters, we can see that um, Jesus uh, invited the little children to come to him despite the disciples' concern of his rest. And though bisag nagool ang mga ang mga disciples sa yahano, but si Jesus iya yung gipanawag ang mga bata brothers and sisters and also he is also available to the sinners no dili lang sa mga bata sa mga sinners to the sick and to the relatives of his disciples so in ana brothers and sisters so jesus as being an example to everybody so here also in our community as a household leader so we might, we also have to be an example to our household members so it means that we are the big brothers or the older sisters to our household members. For example, brothers and sisters, parehas gayin na akong giingon nga, kung na ay problema ang, problema ang imuhang brother or imuhang sister sa imong household. So uh, it is our responsibility nga magahin og time, no? Magagahin og time to listen to his or her problems because wala ta kabalo nga dili niya kaya na istorya sa iyang family di sa iyang mga friends or sa ubang tao classmates and etc pero since ikaw ang ilang household leader um, and we are in the community na sila ay kumbaga trust nga mo share sa imuha sa ilang problem what what you need to do is to have the time lang no a, a, kwan lang, a, available a, available lang nato ato ang time para sa ilaha to listen and of course to give advices at the end na sa inyong um, sharing no kay para po siya 
makabalo po siya sa iyang buhaton brothers and sisters. Dili na kay maminaw ra ka, maminaw ra ka. What's next sa ipagpaminaw nimo kung dili ka mohatag og advices? So it's better nga mag-give po God advices para makabalo siya. Ay, okay, wrong ni akong gibuhat or ing ani dai na ko siya buhaton. So that is our responsibility as our as a household leader, the availability to our people. Okay, next. The third one, brothers and sisters, is the expression of affection. So here in John chapter 11, verse 35 to 36, Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. So the main wor key word here, brothers and sisters, is Jesus wept. So Mona said, Jesus wept. So this is the time, brothers and sisters, when uh, Jesus visited the tomb of Lazarus. So Jesus wept, meaning um, naghilak yun dito no, si Jesus uh, upon visiting the tomb of uh, Lazarus. So what, what, does, uh, what does it tell us, brothers and sisters? So it tells us that we need to uh, love those in our care. We need to laugh and cry for them. We need to care for them, not just as duty, but as a beloved family members. So, dili lang kaingon, brothers and sisters, nga ka nang, kung baga ba, sa magkopol pa, in, through good times and bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. So, inana siya, brothers and sisters, no nga, kanang naagid o, dapat ta always sa atong, sa atong brothers and sisters, sa kalipay, sa kaguol, sa inana, no nga, kanang, mangina, ang manginahanglan sila sa ato, ah, we should always be uh, in, on their side, no? as much as possible. For example, brothers and sisters, if someone did a great job, so what you're going to do is to tap siguro sa ilahang bak, and then mo ingon ka nga, good job brother, good job sister, or example, sa atong virtual, simply mo send ka sa iya o private message nga, okay, good job brothers and sisters, a good job bro, good job sis. So in Anna, brothers and sisters, no, that is how we can express our affection to our fellow brothers and Sisters. So that is the expression of affection. So now, brothers and sisters, we are done. Uh, we are done with the uh, concrete, the three concrete qualities of brotherly love as expressed by Jesus. Now, what we are going to tackle is the concrete qualities of brotherly love as expressed by other scripture passages. So there are also three brothers and sisters. So the first one is patience and forbearance. The second one is encouragement. And the third one is going the extra mile. So let us discuss one by one. So first is the patience and forbearance. So forbearance, brothers and sisters, means um, self-control. So patience and self-control. So here in Romans chapter 15, verse 1, we who are strong ought to bear with the feelings of the weak and not to please ourselves. So our work, brothers and sisters, as a household leaders, we, uh, we need to continue evangelizing. So especially nowadays, no, nga wala tayo face to face, um, dapat dirigyo dapat mugawas ang ato ang pagka evangelizers, no? Um, as I can observe siguro sa ato ang mga household, murag, Anong laylo na nahinahina na ang uba na gani sa amuan, um, dili lang ako in-name no nga, nag-change religion na, mga inana, or wala, dili na kayo active sa ato ang community. So mao na siya as, our, as a household leader, brothers and sisters, let us continue evangelize. So siguro bisag, once in two weeks man lang mamit na to ang ato ang mga household members no para uh, ma-remind po sila always ba sa unsay buhaton, ug dili po sila. Muad to sa laing religion, kumbaga, brothers and sisters. So, um, in here, in, this SS, uh, in the SFC, I've been here for almost five years naman. Ang uban siguro na to, 10 years na, 15 years, o uban pang, uban siguro 20 years and more. But uh, we need to take people where they are and draw them deeper into the new life in the Lord. So, brothers and sisters, we need to realize that Different people may have different paces in spiritual growth. So many brothers and sisters that not all of us know nga same type of paces sa atong spiritual growth. Naiuban nga paspas kaayo ang ilahang paggrow sa ilang spiritual 
growth, ano po ba hinay, but let us always remember brothers and sisters that at the end of the day, isa ragay hapon ang ato ang gipadulungan dito sa kamaayuha ay sa Goodness, ragi hapon dito, padulong kang Jesus, ragi hapon, brothers and sisters. Though, um, dili man ta, different man ta og mga um, ways sa pagpadulong dito or atong kahinay o kakusgon sa atong pag-grow sa atong spiritual growth, but at least at the end of the day, dito mag-abot ragi hapon ta sa finish line. So, mga na siya, brothers and sisters. So, uh, but this does not mean that we have to pamper them or cuddling their sinfulness or non-performance. We are also called upon to strengthen others and to correct them if necessary. So, dilipod pa sa both brothers and sisters, pasagdan na po na to sila. For example, na atay makita nga atong household member na ay mali gibuhat or nag-post of something siguro no sa uh, social media na binakaroon no, dagana kay tag pwede i-post nga. Dili na sila ma-aware tungod lagi kay wala na po tayo household-household So wala na sila na remind do. So kita as household leaders, we this is our responsibility to remind our um our members no nga kani uy dili na Brad, dili na siya pwede buhaton. Brad, ay delete na siya palihog Brad kay kuana siya kanang grabe ra mura ginana no. So that is our responsibility as a household leader. So now let's proceed brothers and sisters. Okay, the second one is encouragement. Okay, may I call on Brad? Mm -hmm. Brad Keir Makarayan. Uh, can you please read Brad Isaiah 35, 3 to 4? Wait lang Brad, wait lang Brad, can you next? Okay, sorry. Strengthen the feeble hands, the darkness that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance. With divine retribution, he will come to save you. Okay, thank you so much, Brad Here, So, uh, brothers and sisters, because often a word of encouragement for one's leader is enough to make a critical difference. So, mauna na akong giingon, brothers and sisters, bisag isa lang yun nga, encourage ninyo yung brothers and yung household member, dako na kaayo na siya ugtabang sa ilahang life, brothers and sisters. That is what's very important nga, um, umit, imit yun nato ang ato ang mga members. Because what a kabalo, nowadays, especially nowadays, ha, nga, rampant na kaayo ang depression and other mental nga mga illness or unsa ba ginatawag nila brothers and sisters, no? So rampant na kayo na karon So it is very important nga imit na to sila para i-encourage man lang na to sila. Nga kaya rin na ni mo, Brad, kabalo ko, nga wala gihatag ang ginoo, nga problema, nga dili na to kaya sulbaron. So inana siya, brothers and sisters, ang encouragement. So this is our task or our responsibility to encourage our brothers and sisters sa ato ang household. So next is Isaiah 34, uh, verse 4 to 5. So may I call on uh, Brad Chris from Sector A. Hello, good evening. Ezekiel, um, chapter 34, verses 4 to 5. Those who are sickly, you have not strengthened. The deceased, you have not healed. The broken, you have not bound up. The scattered, you have not brought back. Nor have you sought for the lost. But with force and with severity, you have dominated them. And they were scattered for lack of a shepherd. And they became food for every beast of the field and were scattered. Okay, thank you so much, Brad Chris. So here, brothers and sisters, in the Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 4 to 5. So for, for us leaders, so if we would not encourage our members, now our household members, then this would not, I mean, this would be a spiritual negligence of our duty, brothers and sisters. So kung ma-fail ta nga encourage atong mga brothers and sisters atong household, especially kung naasla yung mga problema no, sa ilahang kinabuhi, so, mano yung giingon nga this um, negligence ni sila sa ato ang spiritual duty as a household leader. So, in, continue, in continuation with that, brothers and sisters, here in Ezekiel 
chapter 34, verse 10, the Lord God says, I am against the shepherds. I will demand, demand my sheep from them. I will fire them. They will not be my shepherds anymore. Then the shepherds will not be able to feed themselves. And I will save my flock from their mouth. Then my sheep will not be then my sheep will not be food for them. So here in Ezekiel uh, chapter 34, verse 10, brothers and sisters, it says that if we fail to encourage our household members, we will disappoint the Lord, brothers and sisters. So claro kayo no nga, as a household leader, if we fail to, to encourage our brothers and sisters sa ilahang mga situation nowadays, brothers and sisters, in this pandemic, so we disappoint the Lord, brothers and sisters. No, claro kay na no. That is why, as as a household leader, it is our responsibility. Balik balik kung yun ato no to encourage them, you to encourage them, especially sa karon nga panahon. So that is encouragement, brothers and sisters. So sometimes we need to serve beyond the normal call of duty. So, uh, for example, brothers and sisters, uh, ipaduol na lang nako no sa amo ah. So here in Vinascar, um, na may group nga ginabuo nga uh, music mean. So mga mga singers tahay daw. <laughs> so na may gubuo sa Vinascar nga music mean. So unsa maning uh, we need to serve beyond the normal call of duty brothers and sisters. So um sa among nidto mi nag uh, nagkandak mi og selfie sa simbalan. So after sa selfie brothers and sisters, gitap me ni uh, father nga Maguire me every first Sunday of the month. So, kada Sunday, kada first Sunday, kami ang maguire dito sa simbalan. Imagine mag-travel me for about 30 to 1 hour para mag-serve dito sa simbalan. Buntag sa yun, no? Inana ang, uh, in ang pag-service your brothers and sisters, no? We serve beyond the normal call of our duty. So, though, bisag dili na to siya, ang amo ang normal call of duty, kaya ang amo araman is uh, maganda kong selfie, mag- uh, mag-evangelize, mag-encourage sa ato ang amo ang mga household members, but nik extend me sa amo ang help, di ba? Um, nik extend me nga willing me bisag sayo kayo may mo travel, willing me mo kwardid to kay kabalo mi nga nanginahanglan jud sila og kwardid bisag dili down to me inana kanin dot og tingog, but pag manganta na mi tanan mo rag madala-dala ra sa brothers and sisters no. So inana siya ang um, service beyond your normal call of duty. So inana siya brothers and sisters nga kailangan po nato ma-apply sa atong kaugalingon. Okay, next is the going the extra mile. So unsa man in going the extra mile brothers and sisters. So it is easy to go the first mile. Yes, but you need God's grace to go to go the extra mile. So inana man tano easy ra kayo mo travel nato mga first mile or first kilometers atong kinabuhi. But Dito na gani tamo proceed sa another mile na lisod na kaayo mo nang some of us or siguro mo some of us na lang dilang nato most nga kanang dili na gid kaabot sa atong angay padulungan right because mura gid tapula na ta then wala pud ta nagsalig sa Ginoo wala nato gipangayo ang grasya sa Ginoo ang guidance sa Ginoo nga makaabot ta didto ah, sa tumoy brothers and sisters so example ana um, na akay na akay pasaway nga household member. So if ikaw nga household leader imong patience lang is naara sa 1 to 10 ang range. Brothers ipadung na nimo 1 to 20 gyud imo ang patience brothers and sisters para gyud kung baga ka nang uh, ma ma encourage gyud nimo ang imuhang member no ma Mabak, babalik nimo sila sa ato ang community ba or mabalik nimo sila sa tuwid nga daan dili sa kuan ha kan ang yellow yellow, <laughs> yellow tards sa tuwid nga daan brothers and sisters nga mapadulong din sila dito sa maayo so ing ana kung naa kay pasaway nga brothers and sisters patience lang good patience and patience para makaabot ta dito sa ato ang angay padulongan because again brothers and sisters that is our responsibility as a household leader so the more you have to do it the more you have to pray for it. Now, we will experience God's grace as we volunteer to do more to serve the people under us. So in Anna's brothers and sisters, no? Um, concrete example for that, brothers and sisters, dili na lang po kumagpalayo, dili na po kumangana ilha, no? 
ang ato ang MC for tonight, brothers and sisters, si Brad Aljon. So, is, um, isama na ako siya sa mga close friends. So, kabalod ko sa iyang uh, life. Dili punta na sa iyang life and then sa iyang service sa community, no? Na witness is, for example, karon um, nag ano siya, nag-online class sa iyang masters, narapot siya another, daghan kay siya mga gustong pangbuhaton karon brothers and sisters. But, the moment na gani mo in- using nga mag-practice ta uy arjo para sa ato ang day mas dito sa simba kay mag speaker or mag uh, kumbaga mag MC so ang ako yung na witness sa iya nga akong kabiliban sa iya brothers and sisters is say yes gidayon na siya no uh, though na naka schedule ana niya nga klase sometimes iya yung absinan para lang uh, mo commit anang uh, service nga uh, commit sa calling nga uh, inahanglan siya sa ato ang community. So iyag yung i-commit ang iyang self diri sa community. So inana siya no brothers and sisters. So unta na kita pod is makahatag makainana may marag inana pod ta ba makasacrifice pod ta sa time. Ato bitong i-balance ato siyang una-unaon. Kumbaga ingon ga pare piya words back sa binibini Pilipinas, think before we click. So think be- before we kanang we decide brothers and sisters for example ginatap ka nga ikaw ang mo opening worship kina pud kay other agenda which is maglaagra mo so asa may pinaka importante ang iserve nimo ang Ginoo or ang iserve nimo ang imuhang uh, mga barkada wherein ang imong mga barkada is gikan ra na siya sa Ginoo so inana brothers and sisters no we need to balance our life and mo ta gigingon mo think that many times on uh, at 10 times good atong una una on kung unsa gyud choice nga ato ang pilion so inana ang go, uh, inana ang brothers and sisters inana gyud dapat ta as a member of the community. So let's uh let's take it also in our household brothers and sisters. For example, nakaset na mo og uh, day and time sa inyong household. Unya ikaw kay naapo kay laing lakaw. Nya let us always remember that we are the household leader. Dili pwede nga wala ka sa inyong household meeting. So that is the time nga we need to sacrifice na lang gyud atong atong laag or unsa pa man dira nga laing tawag because nakakommit naman ta sa inyo ato ang household nga meeting so because inana na pud brothers and sisters makita pud sa ato ang mga members nga dili pud kapabaya sa ilaha kung baga puhon pud si kung sila na pud ang household leader ikaw ang maha, uh, ikaw ang ma, makuha nila as as an example bitaw nga Eh, ikaw, word of mouth na ka sa ilaha dito sa ilang new household members. So, kumbaga, masikat na ka ba kay Nana imong gibuhat na inspired sila sa imo Asama pag-iingon ni Aljun Gainas, no? Sa, nga na-inspired siya ni Brad Roy, nga inana ka-active and all. Inana po ang atong buhaton brothers and sisters para puhon po ang atong member, kita po ang word of mouth. So, muna siya brothers and sisters. Excuse me. So in conclusion, so conclusion na tayo, hey, manager, that's my bina. So in conclusion, brothers and sisters, we are all brothers and sisters in singles for Christ. And you are called upon as household leaders to serve the rest. And the second one, in this service, we need to qualify, I, in this service, we need the quality of brotherly love. And for that, brothers and sisters, May God be praised and once again I hope na agud moy na tonan sa ako aog na inyo gyud siyang ma-share sa inyong household puhon puhon and once again brothers and sisters thank you so much and good evening